I do not think teachers should be graded upon student test scores because some of these teachers are really great. All the students that want to pay attention get good grades. They pass their test scores, everything's fine. In some cases, the majority of the kids do not pay attention. It's The teacher is not a life coach. She's not there to teach characteristics about paying attention, sitting in a chair properly, how to hold your pencil. That's not what a teacher is there for. Kids should already know to be quiet when a teacher's talking, not to text in class, not to throw paper balls. I mean, it's sometimes some of the things students do are really immature. I think it's how these kids are getting raised. It uh, interrupts my learning and sometimes my test scores of course, I passed like a B plus on a test, but I could have gotten an A if the class, if the whole class would have been focused and we could have all, uh, all soaked in the information the teacher was giving us. But sometimes kid want, kids want to make jokes, interrupt the class, and uh, the teacher can't relay her information upon us. We can't receive it perfectly because kids are being so disruptive and so the test scores are bad. I just think it's not a fair way to to grade the teachers. I think that another way needs to be figured out. I think it should be based upon the improvement. Maybe the test scores are still, maybe the percent of test scores are, that are passing increased by 2%. Now if you take that 2% compared to all the other high schools in the district and it's the lowest one, then you could say that that school's success rate is not very good. Now, let's say that school gets a, from 40 to 50 percent, so it increase to 10, and that's the highest in the district. Then you can tell that the success rate of that school has been the best. It's improving.